Well, and again, the goalie play is up and down. The defense is pathetic. The goal scoring is is evaporated largely from what they did last year. They're playing as bad as they did at the end of last year, and even worse, I would argue, to begin this season. Yeah, in the last eleven games, they've lost eight of them. Yeah, it's John. It's bad. So clearly, people are going to point to Lalone today. Fourteen NHL coaches have been have been replaced in the last year. Fourteen in the last year. What makes Lalone so special? Some of those teams were playoff teams that replaced their coaches. So. Again, 20 coaches the last two years if you want to expand the sample size. And if you say, well, Jim, the talent isn't good enough, well, that's a bigger indictment on Iserman six years in. Well, so I'll ask you this question. You've watched more of it than I have. Yeah. You've been to more of it than I have. Oh, I'm, going, maybe, I'm going on maybe Thursday. Yeah, maybe they're just saving up for Thursday night. That's oh, going to be the, yeah, there we uh, go. the, 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 the coming out party. Um, does it feel like there is any sense of urgency? No. And so, I, I obviously, yeah, they're last in the Eastern Conference, tied for last. Yeah. But they're only three points back of the last wild card spot. Now, yes, I understand that's way too early to be talking about that, but you don't want to dig yourself a hole that you can't get out it's of. It's just a measuring spot, but yeah. It is, and but my, my the case is, okay, you're only three back. Where is the sense of urgency to get better, to play better? to play with a little bit more juice, to win some of those games, to ultimately be in the conversation, whether it's now, it's halfway through the season, or the end of the year. If you don't take care of business now, you won't have that opportunity at the end of the season. The season's slipping away, and you typically get a fired coach bump. Okay, That would be the argument to make the move now as opposed to letting it play out or waiting. Thanksgiving is one of those checkpoints in a hockey season, right? New Year's going into January. There are... Listen, there's clearly enough hockey games for this team to wake up and play better. The question is, is it going to happen with Derek Lalonde as the head coach right now? I mean, it's it's openly discussed at the games. It's openly discussed in Detroit sports. How long is this guy going to last? I think it's it's obvious they're not playing hard for him right now. What do you think the reception will be Thursday night when, when they take the ice or they announce Lalonde? I don't think people are going to go out of their way to boo him or or anything like that to start the game. But I've been to three games already this season, and they have been booed off the ice to end periods and end the game. If they get down two, three, or even four goals, seen that, there will be people calling for him to be fired. It will be loud. This hockey fan base got a taste last year, and they feel like they got spit in the face this offseason. Did they do enough? They kept the coach. Did they do enough with the roster? And... Do I think firing Lalone instantly makes this team a playoff team? I think that'd be naive. And I think there's deeper questions and issues with the way Steve Eiserman has built this team six years in. But it does feel like keeping Lalone while your season slips away is a reflection of Steve Eiserman's lack of urgency, to use your word. Right. Well, or just not doing enough. Yeah. And this is, there's not much you can do with the roster at this point. You can make some tweaks and you could do, you know, depending on where they are at the trade deadline, sure. There are moves that you can make, but this is the here and now. What is it that's going to create a spark to get them out of this rut? So Gerard Gallant is a name that doesn't have the baggage of Joel Quinville, but Gerard Gallant's a coach who, way back in the day, played with Steve Eiserman and has coached an expansion team to the Stanley Cup. He's just available. He's hanging out on his couch. Do you like what's going on right now? They are outshot in 14 of the 18 games this season. They are not competitive. They played some of the worst teams in hockey out West, and they lost all of them. I don't know when the breaking point will be, but it feels like we're getting pretty close. Yeah, I mean, it, it sure feels that way. And, and I just don't know, is it is it now? Is it two weeks from now? Yeah, I mean, like, I mean okay, is it you Thursday? Get to Thanksgiving? Yeah, what, what is it? Yeah, I, I, John, I don't know. And again, it's because Eiserman's been so patient, and he's been given carte blanche that there really isn't that much pressure. I mean, even today we bring this up. Like, it's it's football season. Yeah, people are more interested in the Pistons right now than the Red Wings. You, know, you, you really wonder, where is the heat going to come from? Because it should be internal. Like, we talk about the Lions, and the pressure to win is from guys like Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes and the guys in that locker room. The pressure should be Steve Eiserman internal. He should be disgusted. He should be livid. He should be the one that's driving change in the organization. And yet, here we are. Well, you also have to think, okay, what's his track record? Now, okay, is the team different than it was back in 22 when he finally made the change from Blaschel to Lalonde? Because he held on to Blaschel for, what, seven years? Six years? Blaschel was here for a while, yeah. 
And so, I mean, like the now, okay, again, he wasn't his hire, but he kept him. He's very patient. Was very patient. Now he's being very patient with Lalone. Yeah. Gator, we didn't do four hours on it. We did a few minutes to close the show. You lose to San Jose, three straight blown leads, or three different blown leads in the hockey game. It's just a bad product right now. Yeah, they're not playing at a, at a high level at this point. I mean, yeah. there's, there's so many holes with it. The uh, The penalty kill has been horrible. Um, they they don't really score even strength goals all that often. No. Um, it, it's They're getting outshot every single game when they're taking on a team that also gets outshot every single game, and then they get outshot by 14 or whatever it was last night. It's a problem. It, it's, it's, what is it, 18 games in the season at this point. Um, it's, outshot 14 times. What's that? Outshot, outshot 14, 14 yeah. times, yeah. So it's – like I you mean, guys I'm not, don't... Ready, I'm not ready to pull the trigger on this yet, but it's getting close. Like If you're telling me is the seat hot for Derek Lalone, I think the seat is hot, but – I mean, Steve Eisenman's got to look at himself in the mirror, too, because Agreed. he's the one that assembled this team. And I, I thought there would be some bumps in the road getting to where they need to be, and I'm not ready to hang up on it. I do think this team still has potential defensively to be to be one of the top half teams in the league. But they're not playing like it. They're not getting enough scoring elsewhere. It was nice that they got four, four goals last night in regulation, yeah. but it wasn't enough to beat San Jose. So it's uh, it's difficult. It, um because I don't know if they, I don't think they have an in-house solution right now. Out of house, I mean, everybody's going to say, "Oh, Gerard Gallant." You know, That's come sure up. Some people would say yep. uh, Sergey Fedorov, and, you know, because we want to bring people back. But um, I think we're getting close to having to have a discussion about it without without question. Well, because you guys aren't fire the coach radio. You guys very rarely, you know, are, are quick to go. quick to do that. <laughs> But I, I wonder, usually, like, usually when we go there, the coach gets fired. Yeah, and I wonder, like, fourteen coaches have been replaced in the last year in the NHL. Like the NHL, more than any other sport, they're quick to replace those guys. They, are, well, they replace guys that are in first place. Yeah, the playoff we've teams. Seen, we've seen that happen. Yeah, which is crazy. So.